Today we have some new updates regarding Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, from new Super Gogeta gameplay to new images, some interesting reveals regarding Vegito in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, as well as even be able to voice your complaints or requests for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and more. Timestamps are in the description below. Now let's talk about the first subject. I can go Super Saiyan in this form too, you know. The more intense the battle, the further my limits are pushed. Just try to keep up with me! So there are a few things I noticed from watching this gameplay footage. For one, Gogeta has an attack where he goes upside down to combo his opponent. This is similar to when he fought Super Saiyan Broly in the DBS Broly movie with that dimension shatter and all. It's great that they decided to reference more and more. Furthermore, I also realized that we actually haven't seen a whole lot from this character in uh, gameplay footage. When we look in the full trailer, there's some cinematic moves that he uses here that I haven't seen from the demo gameplay. As a it's because a lot of people are using the blue version of Gogeta and didn't have time to get into Super Gogeta too much, or they just went too interested in Super Gogeta. What do you think? Also, this is one of the few times I've seen Super Gogeta's outro, so that's a plus. In other news, another Ultra Instinct Sign Goku image has popped up. It actually came out yesterday, but I figured I'd cover it in today's video. It seems that either his special or ultimate move will be the Super Kamehameha, reminiscent of when he faced off against Kefla. Always great to have these images. Now we go into Vegito. One thing I noticed from seeing the trailer is that Vegeta was in his DBS costume, and not his end of Z look. In the trailer, he faced off against Jiren, although I have no idea if they intend to make this a what-if scenario. On Twitter, Endu Kaba also mentioned this. Someone brought to my attention that it was the super versions of Goku and Vegeta fusing into Vegito. So in a sense, the roster screen paired them with the ZN versions of Goku and Vegeta for the sake of Super Vegito fitting there. But apart from that, they still consolidated the character. I'm actually surprised they did that, but hey, it makes sense regardless. And of course, there are some interesting theories here and comments regarding the whole Vegito situation. Thought I'd point it out. Now, I wanted to also show off uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta gameplay footage. Vegeta, let's do this! Fusion! Ha! Bring it! Yeah! Yeah! Whoa. 
I was just stronger. Vita, ya lo sé. So this actually isn't new. I posted this a long time ago, but the reason I'm posting it here is because I wanted to kind of just put in my quick thoughts on the on the character. So in my opinion, I do feel that Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta has the best looking animations for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I like his transformation. I like the attacks, the moveset, etc. I know I'm definitely going to be using the blue version of Gogeta over the Super version, over the Super Gogeta version and even the base version. Although if Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is in this game, which we don't know yet, but if he is in the base roster at least, I might use Gogeta over him. What do you guys, what do you guys plan on doing? Which version of Gogeta will you be using the most? Especially from the base, Super and blue version that's been revealed so far. And finally, there's one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, an individual, um, you can see his name there, showed off a form request in which he says, there is still hope to request fixes from Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's developers, such as here, texture, Goku's uh, body, and more. Here's the request box. So when we click that request box, it shows this. Opinions and requests. So I guess this is like a comments and requests form. If you have any comments or requests, please send them to us using the comments and requests form below. We will not respond to each inquiry individually, but we will pass on your comments and requests to the relevant department. For bugs, please send them to that form. Please note that we do not accept suggestions for product ideas from general customers. And please note that if we submit a suggestion, we will not assume any obligation or responsibility regarding that suggestion. They also say that you have a 1200 character limit and that we will not respond to your inquiries. Okay, interesting. When we click that, uh, the blue thing below, here's what it shows. So yes, if you have any requests, if you have any suggestions, any complaints, I would suggest that, I guess, put it here. I mean, why not? I'll be putting a link of the uh, form in the comment section below and the description. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, that's it for now. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.